Welcome to the 25 days of Christmas home tour series here at Living It Country. Today we have a tour that you all always love seeing. If I get a name more, it is to see Laura Jean's mobile home cottage. And I just adore her. She has been on the channel more times than I can even count. And she is just absolutely amazing. She's an amazing person an amazing homemaker and just so talented. So make sure you guys follow her in the description box down below and let's go visit Laura Jean at her home today. Hey friends, it's Laura Jean from Mobile Home Cottage. I am here with Holly on Living at Country and I am giving you a little tour of my home for Christmas. Thank you Holly for having me back. If you follow me on Instagram, it's Mobile Home Cottage. And I thank you. If you don't follow me, go give me a follow. If you have any questions about anything in my home, uh, give me a little message on uh, Instagram, DM me, and I will answer you. Thank you for watching. Okay, so we'll start here in my entryway. Not very big. But I always decorate it to the max. I'm a neutral girl, but I'm not necessarily a simple girl. This is my beloved apothecary cabinet that I purchased from Ellen J. Goods. Up here I have some garland around an old frame. And then I've got some little knickknacks in this old crate. ornaments, those Christmas bells that were my grandparents, and then some bow candles. Come around over here to my dining room. I like to decorate my corner cabinet. centerpiece is something I picked up at a yard sale last year. And then my corner cabinet is all ducked out. Got bottle brush, brush trees and just all kinds of little Christmas knickknacks, I guess that's what they're called. I hung that frame on there, or window I should say to just give it some interest. Now I'll show you my kitchen. So this piece over here, um, right there, that is a roadside find. And then I made this shelving unit on top. I've got some little houses and lights in there. This is another piece that I made here on the counter. And I've got some little Christmas dishes out there. My mercury trees in the window. And then my little Santa collection up above, which they did not all um, come white. Actually, I think none of them were white. I painted them to go with my look here. We have this sweet little house with a bow candle in it. And then up above here is this sign that I made a few years ago. It's reversible. The other side has got um, flowers, names of flowers on it. This little cabinet on my microwave was another roadside find. No room on the floor, so I had to make space up there for it. I put pine branches up above my cabinets, which I've done this before. We have a lot of um, pine trees on our property, but these are very shuddy this year and they're kind of making a lot of a mess. Not really happy with it. So I recently sold my kitchen island and my husband built me this new island, which it comes out. Um, if you remember this cabinet here, we cut the bottom of it off and anchored it to the wall. And then he built me this island. Like I said, it comes out um, so I can move it. 
We can put bar stools underneath. It gives me a lot more room. If you've noticed, I like ar architectural salvage, and I have a piece over here above my bedroom door, and then there's this piece up here that came from an old church, which I love. I'll take you into the living room now. Our house is small, if you haven't noticed yet. Um, a little table with a pop crate on top. We recently put shiplap on this wall here and added this mirror from Mark and Day. I love the way it looks. We added a little shelf to the bottom so that I can um, decorate a little bit. Over here is an old mold I picked up years ago and I made this um, little, I forget what it's called now, but anyway. It's out of paper mache and I added a little crown to it just to make it look Christmassy. So over here is my Christmas tree. It is a King of Christmas tree. It is pre-lit. I absolutely love it. It is the best Christmas tree I have ever had. And I went with a woodland theme this year. There are owls and mushrooms and snowflakes and there are little sparrows on here you can find the sparrows at Alan J Goods I've got little deer lots of gold going on I think this is my favorite theme so far um, I've got some Christmas packages wrapped here I'm going very simple this year with brown packaging string and some dried mums. Here's my mantle. So our fireplace is a working fireplace, a real wood fire fireplace, um, but it kind of worries us, so we actually have a wood stove in the basement, so we get that same warmth from that. Um, so I just kind of covered this up with an old door, a piece of an old door, and this electric fireplace that gives me that same ambiance of, you know, a fireplace. Just some bow candles going on up here. And then my mantle is all decked out. I went a little overboard, I will say, but I just couldn't stop once I started. On the other side over here of the fireplace, I have shelves on both sides and I like to decorate them. There's mostly books in them though. My couches, I keep cream colored throws over them just makes them look more cozy and with having little dogs and stuff it makes it easier to keep them clean that leather chair I got from the thrift store this summer $15 find very thrifty if you haven't figured that out yet I definitely think the kitchen is my favorite room of the house. It's where I spend most of my time. And it's just the room that I do change it up a little bit here and there, like just recently with the island. Um, but I think I finally have it like the way I really want it. And I don't know if I could say about that, that about every other room of the house, but I do love my kitchen. So I will swing around over here and I will show you my bedroom. Not a lot of Christmas going on in here. Very simple, um, just this old window with a couple snowflakes on it. And then um, a Santa over there, some red berries, just lots of cozy blankets and 
some garland up above the mirrors and a little picture, but like I said, not a ton of Christmas going on, but that's okay because I don't want my bedroom to be too busy. So I'll just swing around here and give you one more little glimpse. And it is little because our home is little, but I am so okay with that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're following me, I thank you. And if you're a new follower, yay, I'm so excited to have you. So uh, Merry Christmas and God bless. I hope you all enjoyed today's Christmas home tour. Let me know in the comments below your favorite part. I can't wait to hear from you all and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.